So we are at Footprints in Brooklyn location on Clarendon. Um, so far, I'm looking around. <laughs> the service is horrible. They didn't even give us water. I had to literally ask for water. <laughs> and my husband was sitting in here sweating. And um, some guys saw him and felt bad and was like, walked to the bar, just gave him a beer because we were sitting here waiting for the waiter and the waiter never came. Give me the beer. I'm drinking a hand cool out. I just sweat. So we actually having, um, he's having a lot of. And I'm having a sex on the beach. And then. Lightweight. I'm a lightweight. I can't drink, so I, one of these, I'm good. But this is what it looks like. We're actually sitting outside, so I'm gonna show you. But I actually like for friends only for the rasta pasta because they actually can make rasta pasta really good but the wait time is unbelievable like sometimes you can be waiting two hours you can be waiting an hour just to be seated so um the wait time is really bad this ain't the place to go. If you know that you like rasta pasta and you're just coming for like a specific meal, then go ahead and eat it. Go ahead and come. Other than that, no. The service is not. It's not good at all. <laughs> My husband is laughing at me because I said the service is not good. It's bad. It's not good. Um, but the food tastes good. So it's like, which one you rather? Bad food or bad service? So it, it, it may come for the food, but the service is unknown. Look, look at this guy, and, and literally he's sweating. Show him how you sweat. Uh, sweating from the forehead and all that. Right. It's so hot. They don't even have fans out here for us. Like when we went to Miami and we were sitting outside, they had like a, a fan that's pushing air, but they don't have any fans, so you're just extremely hot. And when I came, I was like, you know what, I want to sit inside. And the guy was like, well, you're going to be waiting a long time for outside. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Let's go sit inside. And then uh, maybe like 10 minutes, he was like, okay, I'm going to seat you outside. And I'm like, dude, I want him to sit inside. But I should have got all that on camera. I should have, but um, I didn't. I literally like the food. That's the only reason I come here. Hello. Yeah. I thought you said shrimp just now. I'm like, that ain't a I think that was a waitress the last time. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Remember the waitress? What's this boy talking about? He that that the woman looks familiar. Hey, remember the last time we came? We had three chicks in the room, so right? Look, look how it's fit. We had a free drink the last time, and I thought it was good. I'm bad people for trying to try and get a free drink. That's not gonna work for She just focused on her food. Look at her face. And this is the uh, rasta pasta. Yep. So, guys, we're gonna catch you in a few because we're gonna hold just rub this down. Guys, what happened? She always wanna. Always want to see who plates flip and all that. I don't know. She want to see who got the most steak. So right now she about to look to see who got the most steak. We'll see you later. See y'all later. Why did you feel the need to tell them that? Who YouTube channel is this? Yours or mine? Uh, Why you told them that I be measuring the steak and shit? Why you telling them this? By throwing me under the bus. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw this down and then, you know, today is. Usually it's really crowded in here, but it's not that crowded, so. You know, we was able to be seated really quickly. 
All right, guys. Tune in in a few. Guys, they pull it off. It ain't got no spice to this. Listen, I'm Trinidadian. They gotta have pepper in this. I don't know what this is. This should just taste like noodles and sauce. Rasta pasta is supposed to have like a little spicy, peppery taste. But I don't have that. I had to complain just now because, you know, after sitting here, dying off a thirst, and then they come with no pepper inside of the food. The matter was. Babe, how does it taste? How does it taste? Yeah, I ain't got that flavor in it. What do you mean by flavor? They don't know what you're talking about. They can't see me. 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 Um, footprints, um, taste. What's the footprints taste? Spicy. I got that spicy taste. When you come early, you definitely get a seat. But if you come too late, that's when you start going through a lot of nonsense now to get a seat. The steak is a bit dry. Like they rush the food over. Hmm. They rush the food, they ain't cooking the food right today. Mm -hmm. One of the things I like about here is it like it, the music it has like a vibe uh, but I'm shocked it has another place nearby called what's the place next door suede suede, suede is it has a nice layout the food is trash no lie like the oxtail tastes sweet like somebody throws sugar in it I don't know what that food tastes like and me and my husband, we we're definitely foodies. You know, we like we like a good meal. Even though I'm trying to lose weight, I'm trying to drop like 30 pounds. This ain't the right food. This right here ain't the right food. But I'm about to get on this diet where. I'm literally not gonna eat like this anymore. Can't wait to see how long you can stay away from this. What you mean you can't wait? Yo, is he serious? Wait, hold up. You getting on this diet too? I'm talking about you can't wait. So I can't wait to see you do it. I love this food. I'll probably have one cheat day. But. I'm pretty much disciplined in the gym, like, I go to the gym, like, about four to five times for the week, so, my damn pants. you wet your pants, I the oh, it fell on your pants, great, he loves so, his white pants, so I hate this damn white pants, oh, tell him why you don't like them, God passed by and dropped some food on the pants, we need to tell them why I don't like them. I'm not even gonna waste my time to say why I don't like this. You were like This one, he can't drink Henny. When he drink Henny, he gets angry. He's an angry Henny drinker. And we both get angry when we drink Henny. That's why I don't mess with it. Where you want this pick at? You wanna get it now or you wanna wait?
I ordered a Diet Coke. The guy told me there's no Diet drinks in there. All right, pretty sure. So I'm drinking a sex on the beach, but I got water. Cause I'm like one of them people who just can't drink liquor and eat. I feel like it just can't wash down properly. Like I need something to quench my thirst behind. So I normally like to drink you know, like a Diet Coke and stuff. I'm sorry guys, I'm over here chewing this up. Season, I'm getting out of your in your face. And they ain't missing that. It don't even taste the, the regular way. You know when you have high expectations on food and you be like, yo, I want to eat that, I want to eat that. And then you go eat it and you're like, I ain't even all that. This one gets camera shine. As soon as I take off the camera, he starts talking. Over there. Oh yeah, so what happened? It's hot. I'm eating the whole thing. You saving some food? He he can't. Every time he save food, he has to save food. Well, I don't want to eat your food in this time. Who said you was getting my food? Control. This is it's you, man. Oh, it's really hot. So mosquitoes tear my ass up from the floor. I'm gonna show you guys um, a little bit what it looks like in the back. I hope I can play this video because I know I got music in the background and and YouTube. You guys, all of a sudden it'll be like a copyright claim on this video. So hopefully, yeah, but they don't care about that. They don't care about you saying that. They don't want to hear that music in the background, period. I lied, babe. I can't eat all this shit. I feel guilty. I feel like I'm messing up my my plan because I ate Chinese food yesterday and I went to sleep right after that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this little bit right here. Oh, when you about it, when you get like bad service and people recommend this big tip, like we only saw this guy like two times. The second time I seen him, I had to literally ask him for water. The first time he just came and took it and never came back. You know how usually people ask you, "Are you okay?" Come across and do that. That ain't happen. You know, like down to everything that you gotta ask. Yeah, that's how some people are. Like some people don't just don't have good customer service skills. Like the last time we went out, right, went to the bar, and the girl, she was like. The customer service skills was just not there. And we gave her like five dollars. 
all of a sudden she wanted to wrap up our food, wanted to be nice. I'm like, it's too late. I pay you based on your your performance and how you treat me. I don't want to be like I want to be eating. I don't want to be chasing you around and calling you for napkins, calling you for water. I don't want to do all that. You know. Especially when you see other people tables, the server is serving them um, way better. You like, but what happens to us? You know. I'm just gonna drink the rest of my drink and get out. I gotta like. Can we go for a walk today? To walk this food off. Cause I feel like I'm really trying to lose like 30 pounds. I have went all the way up to 178 and now I'm 165. But my original weight was 133 before I got pregnant. And I would like to go back down the scale back to that size that I was before and losing weight is really hard so I would definitely like to drop that weight what you said definitely you want to drop the weight too huh he doesn't like to come to the gym with me anymore you gonna come at least once for the week all right it looks like you got a buzz. The drink was strong. My drink is strong. They got strong drinks. Yeah, it was strong. Nah, it wasn't sweet. Remember when we went to Miami and we asked for sex on the beach and that shit was nothing but juice. It was so sweet. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. So we have footprints on Clarendon. And this is the McDonald's right next door, but this is the parking lot. And I'm going to show you guys what it looked like. And just ignore the, the video with my husband standing in it. He loves to be in my videos. He loves just to be the cameo in the, in, in the video. This is Footprints. We're waiting on our Uber. This guy's like literally 12 minutes away. I'm like, why would you take a ride, pick up a ride that you know you're 12 minutes away and you're not even in the neighborhood? He's all the way in Crown Heights. If you're from Brooklyn, you're from New York, you know that's deep, that's far. We're in East Flatbush near Canarsie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the other, um, in that direction is where it has another um, cafe restaurant yeah.